Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome on and all to Afterbirth. First things first, Merry Christmas one and all. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I hope that it is made even just a little bit sweeter by what we're about to do, which is have a very merry Greedmas. I thought it'd be a little bit fun to have a go at the classic ridiculousness that is the basement seed. But on greed mode, just as a little Christmassy special type thing, and I am having an actual, like, major project Christmas special coming up in a few hours, which is a song, a parody of living on a prayer, and not, not sung by me before you, before you all go crazy, I, I know, I know how that goes, so, yeah, let's, let's have a go at this, shall we? Alright, Mum's Pearl start, you know, pretty good, I would say, like, oh, it's, it's kind of okay, but then the fact that we are effectively going to be getting damn near every item kind of means that it doesn't really matter when we get them. Also, Cricket's Head is a pretty good start. I uh, yeah, I'll go on then. We'll blow up this and then we'll get ourselves to the... Hang on a minute. So I return and I'm... I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um... What happened was, I started recording, and I was like, there's no sound. Is there no sound? I can't hear any sound. Is there sound? And it turns out, I'd accidentally... Oh my word! Cricket's head polyphemus on the first floor on infinite basements! Arr, four quasars! Two never separating quasars! I'm a little bit happy about that. That's that's not bad. That's quite an acceptable result. But as I was trying to say, before I so rudely interrupted myself, is uh, I was a little bit of a quick interjection from Future Rage here. Basically, I was told that I'd eventually find a sacrifice room and be able to teleport down and fight Greed. As it turns out, that's not true. However, don't be disappointed because this run, this basement, is just... Just wait till you see what happens. It is fantastic. But yeah, I basically had accidentally unplugged my headset as I started recording. So I was there just thinking that I'd gone completely deaf and that something was wrong with my computer. So I stopped, had a panic before I noticed that the wire was out and then felt like a massive Christmas moron. Now, normally, you know, I'd be like, feel free to insult me mercilessly for this. I am an idiot. But it's Christmas, and I would respectfully request that you guys be a little bit, you know, you be kind, okay? I just, I just need you to be kind. I wish I could afford the freaking wire coat hanger just to solve the problem of having incredibly low polyphemus tiers but can you even get a higher raw damage number with two items oh i'm i'm in i'm in one of those moods i'm happy but i'm also kind of like ah you know, maybe that's maybe that was weird. Maybe that didn't explain anything. You know when you're kind of like air exhalation. You know how it is when that happens. I know it's just it's just ridiculous. I should probably just like stop. Maybe give me the money. That's not money, but I guess it's health, so I'll accept for now. But I'm not completely happy. But yeah, basically this video wasn't really kind of planned. I was like, hang on a minute. You guys are fantastic. And uh, these last few months of Afterbirth has been fantastic. I have honestly never in my five years been having more fun and just generally more happiness with my channel and you guys. And it's been amazing. And that is thanks to you. And I am, you know, I, it just means the world to me. I can't really express it. The fact that you guys let me do what I do. And it's just, it's just wonderful. It really is. It's, I mean, this might be cheesy Christmas spirit talking, but it does mean the world to me. So I was like, you know what? We need a Christmas afterbirth special. Sod the rules. I can do it. You know, take a few lessons from Kyber. So, I, you know, obviously I wasn't planning on doing this. So I've ended up recording it when I'm, well, let's just say otherwise should very much be not recording. So I'm going to be in quite an interesting mood. But we don't need to worry about that because we've got freaking giant polyphemus cricket sives. Cricket sives. Look at them. 
Look at them! Though what I do think is funny, what I do think is pretty good, is cricket scythes. Like, I hate cricket. Well, I don't hate cricket. I just think cricket is boring. I just think cricket is boring. But, and I, I understand people like it. That's fine. Like, whatever you want, you know? Strangle from behind. Strangle from the front. Whatever floats you strangle. Don't tell anyone I said that. But if cricket players had to play crickets with literal giant scythes instead of cricket bats, then I don't know about you guys. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I would be much more inclined, just generally speaking, to watch it. You know, I, I'd, I'd definitely be on the happy side of let's sit down and watch people try and hit a ball with literally scythes. I think that would be fantastic. And then finally, Death himself, the end of all things and the harbinger of doom, could actually have a spot he could play at. Because think about it, Death is kind of left out. Like, his touch kills. What sport can you play when you touch, when you touch kills? You can't play rugby. You can't play football. You can't play baseball, bat ball. You know, that, that one American spot. I know what I'm talking about. You can only basically play ping pong and tennis, and I can't see tennis running around with death. No, I can't see death running around with tennis. Either way around, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, it would be nice for him to be able to actually be a part of something, and that could be a good way to integrate that. Let's re-roll these. Let's get ourselves mini mush. Maybe I'm just thinking about this too much. Maybe this is, you know, not really something we need to necessarily think about, but it would be good. Though, I guess, to be fair, he'd still probably end up touching people in cricket, but it would be scythe cricket, so I guess he would be allowed to be there, so it wouldn't be as bad if we accidentally killed everyone, because while you might win the game, I don't think you'd be allowed to continue your sporting career if your touch killed all of the enemy players and all of your fellow players. In fact, how does Death even do anything? You can't even go to the supermarket without killing someone, though I guess you could just try and not touch anyone, but... That's sometimes difficult. What if someone taps you on the shoulder and wants directions and then they just keel over dead? I mean, that's just horrible. You'll never even know what they wanted and that kind of curiosity eats away at a person. Also, somebody died. There's just a lot of issues you got to think about when considering being the Grim Reaper. And uh, people don't generally consider that. And I think that's definitely a mistake. Like, 100%. That's definitely a mistake. Uh, let's just go down to the next floor. I mean, we're basementing forever, so... Really, there's not much to this. Well, actually, we're basement in until we can find a curse room in a curse room. A sacrifice room in a curse room. I didn't choose. No, I did choose. We're okay. I nearly thought I forgot, but it's all right. I don't know why I was taking so long to decide between HP up and HP up, but apparently I really needed this. Odd mushroom should really help us out here. That's fantastic. And we got a golden chest in there. All right, things are looking pretty good. Obviously, this is still just going to slaughter most things. In fact, I don't think there really is, at this point, any basement waves that can even slightly threaten the level of power that we're wielding, and that kind of makes me happy. We just need to get to spectral tiers and maybe a little bit of flight, and maybe a few more tier ups, and then we're just kind of done. Like, we are so unbelievably done. Look at that. Just absolute slaughter. I don't even know how I got hit there. Well, I do know because he hit me, but I like to pretend that it wasn't me being inadequate by denying my knowledge of the truth. It actually kind of got pretty real to that sentence. They got kind of real pretty fast. So how are you guys doing today on Christmas? You know, I'd love to know. I'd love to know some stories. What presents have you got? How have you been handling it? Are you someone who loves Christmas from the family perspective? Or are you someone who's like, oh, I gotta go spend Christmas with my family. God, I hate my family. Well, I, I, actually, I'll hope you're not that bad. <laughs> that might be a little bit on the extreme side of things, perhaps. Lil Gish? Nah. Oh, well, actually, that... I take that back. That was... That was really preferable to what actually happened there. But it's okay, because we have a battery, and we have a key, and I'll open this, and we immediately get everything back. Though, with that infinite key, it's not really going to do much for us. But we can, however, re-roll and get a lemon mishap. Well, I guess at least I'm going through these items, so they won't show up later. I've got that going for me. That's, that's fine. That seems like a good idea. Oh, a juicy sack! That's exactly what I needed right there. A juicy sack is just wonderful. A Christmas juicy sack at that envy! 
<laughs> oh, there's something very satisfying about that. All I want for Christmas is to kill Envy. Let's get Guppy's head just because it will progress us along the path of becoming Guppy, which of course we're going to do with infinite basements. And really, I'm not too bothered about missing things on floors because we're just going to have so many to cycle through that we can just kind of relax. And guys, this is honestly truly a run where me making mistakes doesn't matter, okay? I want you to please understand that. Let's get a bursting sack. So we got a juicy sack, which has then become a bursting sack. Really? That, uh, that happened? I can't believe that actually happened. That, seriously, that order of uh, events happened. A bursting and juicy sack. God damn. Oh, afterbirth. Oh, afterbirth. You're such a lovely individual. And by lovely, I mean, you're that one weird kid at school that no one really wanted to associate with, but everyone felt sorry for because probably something really bad has happened to them. Or maybe, maybe you guys don't have that. You never know. I might not have been at your school. Oh, self burn! <laughs> no one liked me. It's all right, though. We're all fine. We're all fine. All right, lemon flies. Nobody panic. They're all so super dead. This is just... Just a slaughter. Obviously, we're going to get Ton Photo. The more tears we get to with this, the better. Let us acquire you. Ooh, and the halo is excellent. God, we're actually getting there. Look how fast we're firing these ridiculous, powerful tears. That's just, just fantastic. Oh, it was a horseman of the apocalypse. I remember those when they were relevant about five floors ago. Have we even done five floors? Oh, and then the squeezy, but I can't even get the squeezy. Just so sad. Just so, so sad. See, it's kind of hard to stack up money. We're basically going to have to wait until we happen to find a broken way of generating money. Then we can kind of really start to progress. And obviously, because we're going to get endless boss drop rooms and item rooms, we're going to have a lot to play around with. We're probably going to end up with a lot of HP more than anything, but that should be fine. Pentagram is nice. We're getting closer to our first transformation. Anything I want from here? No, so I can reroll. And that kind of sucks too. And again, another bed. What is it? What is the game trying to imply? I mean, I know I'm pretty exhausted both mentally and physically after my terrible ordeals today being kidnapped five times. Yeah, you, you ask how that happened. But game, you don't need to remind me about it. That's just very disrespectful. God, these scythes are quite impressive. Like, the fact that we got to this level of awesome this early on in... I say this early on, we've been basement in for a fair while now, but it's still, it's absolutely fantastic. And I just can't wait to uh, find some ridiculous synergies that turn this mental. And we'll probably rotate round a few synergies. Like if I found Brimstone. Actually, I don't think I'd take Brimstone. Because Brimstone, for the most part, is a pretty one-note item. And while it's fun in a run, where having a one-note synergy is great. In a run like this, I don't think we want to lock ourselves to Brimstone fun, you know? I think we can definitely, well, at least attempt to do better than that. You know what? Let's buy a key. Let's buy a key. And let's buy a key. I'm just going to buy all of the keys. Mask of Infamy, that will do. Let's go get our actual item. And Popola Double X. Oh, Popola <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. That's what I like to see. And then we will bomb that for one b -b -b bonus reroll and get an extra life. Let's get an extra life. That way we can take a... Oh, a fungus transformation. We're such a... Fu See, the game knows. Thanks, game. That's such a nice little compliment of you. Wow, we killed Mega Fatty that quickly. That's quite impressive. Who's now? Oh, that's just... That was just it. All right, then. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't need anything more. Ooh. Oh, I missed the other black heart because I was scared of the troll bomb. Which, to be fair, would have resulted in the same result. So, resultingly, that's fine. And then I wonder what the next floor is going to be, guys. I wonder what the next floor is going to be. Down we pop. And it's a HP up. I mean, we'll eventually get through all the HP ups and start having a lot of breakfast. But that won't be for a while. And... Ooh, two keys is kind of nice here. We can go straight in this and get the host hat. Sorry, fun guy helmet. Oh, no, it's actually just the host hat on the fun guy helmet. Fantastic. I was a little bit concerned it wouldn't go that way, but no, apparently it very, very much is. Okay, this is just ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know half the enemies that we're killing. I just know everybody is dying, and that's basically it. Because obviously, with it only being basement waves, I think that's especially easier than just rampaging around various actual basement floors. And the fact that we're going to get a devil deal every single time definitely 
adds to it. Like, it really ramps it up. Although, I guess the good thing in Green Mod Basement is you do face bosses that you don't normally get in the basement, like Mega Fatty. So, I guess if that's uh, something you'd consider an advantage, it's... Well, I guess it certainly is a little bit. All right, we'll get the Black Candle from this point onwards, because it will give us that sweet, sweet immunity. We'll also do this, because we can get that chest with our glorious power. Come on! Ooh, we get a Perthro rune. That might not be too bad. Let's get the Devil Deal and see if there's a Devil Deal worth re-rolling. Who is even the boss? Oh, Pin! Pin against this scythe! Can you imagine? All right, it is about time we fought Krampus here, and we are, of course, going to re-roll it with our per throw and get more of the void! And that should be the transformation? No, it's not yet. We need one more. Damn. Damn you all. And I think we're ready to move on. At least I assume we're ready to move on. I mean, at this point, my memory is not what it used to be. I mean, I can't remember what it used to be. <laughs> hey! But I can only assume it was better than this. Super Bandage, that's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get freaking Boomerang Scythes all up in here. That works out very nicely. Spider Mod, of course. There you are. Let's see how much ridiculous damage we're actually doing. And then... Not a curse room. I think we'll effectively play this as see how powerful you can get before the cur first curse room happens. Then it's actually a little bit more of a challenge because you have to commit to the first curse room. So you need to make sure you have enough health and the like. And my 1-up will obviously help very much with that because I can just kill myself doing it and then everything should be okay. Let's re-roll. D4. Don't really want the D4. But what I will do is buy the D4. I shouldn't buy Chaos, right? Because it normally results in a lot of breakfast. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll grab a battery and we'll re-roll everything. Uh, I don't really need that either. But I will buy this deliberately just so I can buy this battery and then get extra re-rolls going on. So it's kind of a sneaky way of doing this. Well, we'll grab BFF and we'll grab Hive Mind. We've got both spiders and followers, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Do I want a bomb? Is there even a bomb? There's not even a bomb. There's not even a bomb. Guys, 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 there's not even a bomb. That is so sad. God, we are doing so much damage. Well, 359. I mean, we've certainly seen higher numbers, but the rate at which we're doing it, I think, is the key aspect here. That was a quick devil deal. It was a very, very quick devil deal. Algiers and a blank rune. What the, what the hell does a blank rune do? Okay, it just gives me a rune. Oh, I see. It doubles runes on the ground. Interesting. Obviously, I've never seen that before, but that's kind of nice to know. Fortunately, I can't get binky. Which does suck. I would have liked a little bit of extra money there. A little bit of extra tears going on. A little bit smaller. A little bit more adorable. But I can't do it. A little bit smaller. A little bit something. I can't. Oh, well. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Because we are already, of course, Max's Crickets. Max's Crickets head. And it's not going to make a big difference. Is that a car battery for free? Doesn't really affect anything. Because Double D6 just means it re-rolls twice without my really knowing about it. So I feel like that is just actually a really bad thing to happen. What's that item? Soy milk! Oh my god! Holy hell! It is actually a solid razor blade of damage! Like a churning chainsaw blade! Oh my god! God, that is cool! That is absolutely incredible! Wow. Absolutely wow. That looks amazing. I am so happy I decided to do this. This is the kind of stuff you could only really see in the basement seed. Because otherwise, getting all the items that have made this happen would have been, like, nigh impossible Holy hell. I'm actually going to get Harlequin Baby just because I want to eventually get to the Triple Baby transformation. But that is... That is insane. That is absolutely insane. And we actually get to watch things melt under the blade, which is just incredible. Hello, Widow. I can't wait to see Greed himself fall to this. Oh, that's going to be good. That is going to be good. Well... Let us grab the 
attacked, I suppose, and then we'll take nine lives, because we're going to get so many HP ups anyway, doesn't matter too much. And now we've got the Leviathan transformation, which is, of course, very nice. A load more money, so we can get ourselves the Mr. Dolly, which will give us a nice little bit of extra range on all of our b -b -b boom You know, that's, that's the technical term, the b -b boom that's going on here. That's, that's officially what it is. Oh, I can't get over how incredible that looks. That makes me so freaking happy. Oh, what a Christmas present. That actually sounds kind of sad. Isn't it? My best Christmas present today was a synergy in a game. But you know what? Screw that. This synergy is fantastic and it is bloody worth it. I am ecstatic to be a part of this. And I will damn anyone that disagrees with me. <laughs> yes, I will. I will fight you. I will fight you so hard. Talking of fighting, my new lizard called Nyx, a blue tongue skink. I probably mentioned it a few times. It is just it is the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. It literally spends its entire time trying to fight everything that moves, but it's not very good at fighting, so it's just hilarious. It's just the most, like, adorably ineffective, aggressive animal you've ever seen. Oh, they're just wonderful. I'd recommend them to anyone who kind of wants a lizard as a pet. It's just very, very enjoyable. We'll get the blood clock, because that will mean we'll have a nice white and red it's a christmas chainsaw it's like the game new it is like the game new i am so happy right now it's like the game new what we would need i'm just so pleased i'm just so so pleased Do you think you could hide on the ground you can't hide from me nobody can hide from me because i'm guppy Oh, not the transformation yet. Yeah, I don't know if Sister Maggie actually counts as it. I think it probably has to be three specific something baby items. At least I think it does. We'll get the latch key because it's worth the money. Oh, I wish I could get Synth Oil. In fact, we might end up with damn near every freaking transformation if we keep doing this. And by Jove, I plan to keep doing this. Because I think we'll probably end up doing this multiple times over our afterbirth career. Just because there's a lot of potentially incredible synergies that we can only really get by doing this. And that's kind of nice to know. I don't know why I'm carrying around algae. It's not like we need it, is it? Anything in there? Just a troll bomb. That is fine. Oh, yeah, I was flying. I could have got some stuff on the last floor. Ah, well, it happens. It very, very much happens. A little bit of extra money. That's okay. Another bomb back. I obviously want to re-roll that. But for now, time to Christmas chainsaw everything up. There it is. We're already very much uh, recharged on our D6. Also, is it just me, or did I just make an absolutely massive demonic sign? I am summoning not just Satan, not just Mega Satan, but Grandpa Satan. And while he doesn't sound as threatening, believe me, you don't want to mess with Grandpa Satan. When he gets cranky, the world bursts into flames. So it's a good job he's not been cranky yet once in history, because I think we'd know about it. Hello, Mega Fatty. I want to see how fast you melt to my... Wow. Wow. That was... That was something. That was definitely something. Multidimensional baby! <laughs> Even that looks phenomenal. We've just got multiple types. I mean, it literally is a Christmas run. We've just got fantastic Christmas lights everywhere. That's so exciting. That is so, so exciting. Actually, I can't re-roll the nickel, but then again, it doesn't really matter, so let's uh, move on. I am one baby away from the triple shot transformation, which, of course, is going to make this ridiculous. I'm kind of excited about this. Dad's key, not really something that we, of course, need. Mum's coin purse. You know, there's a part of me that's like, I don't even really care about any of these pills. Like, I really... Oh, never mind. We can get mini. I like being mini. And now that we can see forever, that might give us a little bit of a secret room. And it does indeed do that. We'll get the speed ball. That's two out of the three that we need for the... Uh, Synthoil, I'm just going to call it the Synthoil Transformation. I don't actually know the official name. What is it? The Drug Transformation, which makes it sound even worse, actually. We'll grab that just because it'll give us a load more bombs for even more re-rolls in the future. The future. We'll get this now because I'm not going to cancel the waves anyway. Aquarius, we'll leave a trail of tears everywhere. Okie dokie. No sacrifice room. That sucks. Look down. Eh. Hematosis. Eh. Oh, but one makes you small. Fantastic. 
All right, I think we are good. I might do a little bit of bomb rolling on here just to see if we can get anything particularly great. Jesus Juice, I'm not... Not terribly determined to have. I think at this point, with this quality of visuals and power, I think I am ready to take chaos just so it opens up a few items that we might not otherwise have seen and I think would end up being definitely worth it. Also, it's very unlucky that we've not had a freaking curse room by now. Like, seriously, wow, Mega Fatty died in like a millisecond. That is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And two black hearts, Pandora's box, good to see you, but we're not going to get much because we're only on the basement, but it's still nice to have it there. Grab the D6 once more, and here we go, a time for chaos. Flight Eternal, not that big of a deal, none of those are that good, because Contract from Below doesn't actually do anything on Greed Mode, as I found out, which is kind of disappointing. I will fully accept, it's just so good! It's just so good. It just... Oh, it brings a tear to my eye. Hey, Guppy's Collar. We're four out of five on the old Guppy's items. Fantastic. That is a nice little bit of drugs there for us to inject and gain huge power. A la Squish. And no sacrifice room just yet. Clearly the game is not ready for us to experience such majesty as melting greed with all of this. What is my... What is firing all of that? Oh, it's freaking Gemini Baby doing that. Of course, we're going to take Bob's brain. Like, are you crazy? Bob's brain is so happening. Let's acquire ourselves a load of money and yet another reroll. Because I don't even really know what I'm aiming at. Things are kind of spawning and then things are kind of dying and then the wave's over. And I don't even know what I've really killed at this point. I just don't. All right, back we go. Let's get Roid Rage. And there we have Spun. I thought it was Spun, actually. I'm glad... To know that I wasn't completely off base. I know I could have just said anything there because I never really committed to what I actually thought it was. But don't judge me. Don't judge me. I think we'll get toothpicks. Why the hell not? Just a little bit of uh, extra tierage. Because I don't think we're quite firing tiers fast enough. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys? I don't think we're actually firing tiers at a speed that makes sense. I think we could definitely be firing faster. Well, I'm going to do this, but ain't no way I am taking... Oh, it re-rolled into Abel. Well, Abel, I guess I am going to do the herity. Herity? The heresy! I don't know what a herity is, but it does sound like something with copious amounts of hair, and you know what they say about copious amounts of hair. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. Let's move on. I just played. I just played. I just said. I just can't speak English! Ah! Oh! B, C, D, E. <laughs> All right, I guess we are getting Fate Flight Eternal. But yeah, three freaking hearts did I just spend on Abel. That is, that has got to be some sort of record. And sacrifice room? No sacrifice room. I am 99% sure this does work like I'm thinking, because I, you know, I've... I think I've been told that. Also, because I've got Aquarius and this black powder, it just looks like I've got very dirty tears. Like, I'm actually crying coal from my tear ducts. Is that what happens to especially bad children at Christmas? Does Santa actually turn into a massive sadistic bastard? And instead of just giving them coal, he quite literally forces them to cry it out of their eyes. Which, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like it would be pretty painful. I mean, lumps of coal being forced out your eye sockets. That's quite severe. Stay! Let's get some damage. Good old Stay. Always like to see Stay. Oh, these blades are just so incredible. And then they turn into even more incredible stuff when they become baubles. And then we activate the devil deal. I don't even know who we're killing here, but they're dead. That's nice to know. The meat. The meat. Do we want the meat? Yes, we do. I'll get the meat. Uh, again, it's not really that necessary. But meat, everybody. Meat. Nothing going good there. That's fine. On we pop. Then we'll go to two red hearts. We're actually quite low on health, considering uh, how far along on a basement we are. But we have been taking a lot of devil deals. Like, a lot of devil deals. Blue cap is uh, nice. I mean, we don't need the upside down shadow item. I'm not a big fan of it. The shadow leeches don't seem to do that much for me. Oh, we've kind of reached breakfast in the normal item room stage. That's not good. 
That's not good. We might come to regret that. Blind rage. All right, I'm blind to damage. I guess that's that's good. I just get to be immune to damage, right? That's clearly what that means, guys. I don't know what you're talking about if you disagree with me. I don't need the miner's helmet. I don't need that breakfast, that's for sure. I don't need placebo right now. I can deal without my meds, which the doctors never really recommended, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Yeah, nothing crazy going on here. All right, so I think what I might do... Well, I'm going to finish this floor first, all right? Before before I tell you what I might do, you know, before I, before I worry you with my crazy ramblings of what could be and what is, I'm going to finish this floor. I can't even really see anything at the moment. I will say that. I have no real idea where I am in relation to this money. So, oh, I accidentally did the boss. Well, boss is dead now. I guess he tried. So that means we'll do the devil deal. Is that a haunt? Well, I guess he'll technically survive by virtue of not being killable for a while, but that's really all he got going. No, I accidentally denied the devil deal because I just can't see where my freaking character is. Oh, man, that is just terrible. Okay, reroll. Oh, I think the crown of light might just be the ticket. That is nice. That is just fantastic. All right, down we go. I think we've finally done the basement, guys. I think we might actually have done the basement. What do we got? Not quite a sacrifice room yet. So I, mean, I don't know what the chances are of the curse room being a sacrifice room, so I don't know how likely it is any of this will happen, but I do just need to stack up loads of health until we get our teleport that seems to be the way to go. Let's see what we've got in our item room. Please be a baby. You're not a baby. And you're a Necromonicomicom. I don't need you either. I don't need to look at your dry, flaky skin. If I wanted to look at dry, flaky skin, I'd go to an old person's home and I haven't been to one of them in years, said the time traveler. Does that make it a joke? I don't really know at this point if that makes it a joke, but that's okay. I'm going to get the Book of Belial there, just so when I re-roll, it adds an extra target to my reticule. And then I think if the next floor doesn't have a curse room, what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, jump cut until that happens. And then we'll go see how this Christmas chainsaw really does handle a certain Ultra Greed. That might be pretty neat. Or I guess I'll jump cut to, I've been through 90 million floors. And genuinely, I'm not actually sure if it's possible to get to greed. And then we all have a little breakdown. And I guess we'll do one more reroll, see what that turns into. More HP up. Oh, yeah. All right, boss. Here we go. Polly, but Polly. Oh, I didn't even, I, like, barely even touched him and he died. Yes, that's sad. Was that entire wave just troll bombs? I, I guess it was? I'm not entirely sure what to think about that. Uh, we'll grab the mind while we're here, but the rest of it I am not too bothered about. I mean, the mind's not fantastically useful. We just get ourselves uh, the occasional reroll. Tammy's head. Tammy's head could be quite fun here. Vroom. That looks incredible. We've got some really nice visuals going on. I suppose we'll grab this HP up as well. All right, down we go once more to the next floor. I could get that. Actually, no, I can't get that secret room. I'm all out of bombs. Don't you just hate it when you're fresh out of bombs? Just the worst. Just embarrassing, really. Like, people are wanting to buy fresh bombs, and you're just out of them completely and utterly. All right, guys, I will see you once I have managed to locate myself a uh, curse room. And, yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, in... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, that actually did re-roll a load of stuff. That might be worthwhile. Oh, yeah, ceremonial robes. But for now, in but a moment. Okay, as it turns out... Y yeah, you can't get to the next floors without finding something like undefined. I have been going and going and all I can see is greed. All I can see is endless, endless greed. It's all that exists. It's all there ever will be or is. Seriously, I'm going a little bit crazy. What, what am I on? I'm on X. I'm on freaking. I've done like 25 more floors. Fully 25 more floors, and it's just not happening. Somebody told me that you could get a curse room in both a secret room or the... A, sorry, a sacrifice room in both the curse room and a secret mode. And a secret room. I can't even speak. I'm just mind melted at all the greeting. But it turns out I don't think there is a way to get a sacrifice room and teleport down. So that kind of sucks. However, what doesn't kind of suck is, uh, well, things happened. 
things happen, guys. We're green and white now, still Christmassy, and we're glowing with festive lights. But then I kind of stopped here, and I was like, that's Sacred Heart and Ipecac, so... We kind of do need to see what happens there. Oh yeah, also I got bouncing bullets. Wow. It's just pure, heavenly, destructive light. I just don't even... I do kind of want to pick up Ipecac. There's a big part of me that wants to pick up Ipecac. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's quite good. That's that's not bad. That is really, you know, that's kind of acceptable. We have bouncing godhead aura death around the entire Oh, it's already dead. It's already. It's already dead. My my bad. I I, I thought maybe there's still some enemies surviving, but as it turns out, no. No enemies survive. Oh, good. Telepathy for dummies. I was just hoping to myself, you know, I really want some telepathy for dummies. Ooh, a rune bag. A rune bag. A bag of runes. But yeah, as you can see, guys, I think we've pretty much reached the limit. I even have Incubus. Like, seriously? Like, this is, and I obviously got the triple shot transformation. And yeah, things happened. A lot of things have happened. Watch me walk into this and get a sacrifice. And I'm just like, yes! But... It's just not gonna happen. It's just not good. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're now all gonna explode and then explode into even more! <laughs> it's just too much. What are we even like? I just. Wow. I just. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Will this passage rune? Oh my god, the parasite on top of the freaking cricket's body on top of this? Are you serious? Are you serious right here? Holy crap. Can we please just all appreciate this for a second? The amount of explosives that are going to happen. Wow. Okay. Will passage actually give us passage to the next floor? Or will it just give us more basement? Oh, just give us more basement. I was hoping that that might be a little way out. Because occasionally you can trick it like that. But I guess it was just not fooled today. <laughs> but there you go, guys. I think we have more than enough sort of experienced what just ridiculousness creed mode basement can be. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you have a lovely remainder of your Christmas. And obviously a fantastic new year. And... It's been a pleasure, and I hope to have a load more fun times with you guys in 2016. I know we've still got a little bit of 2015 left, but I think it's nice. I think it's nice to just let you guys know that. Oh, it's just not those poor spiders. 3,100 basically nuclear spiders, because obviously I'm still guppy, so it's just... <laughs> Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I just can't. I just can't. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, as a little Christmas Isaac video. I have certainly had an absolute blast. <laughs> hey! Because it's, like, really, really explosive now. It's, uh... Really explosive now, so that's why I've had a had an absolute blast. Either way, my name has been Rage. Like if you enjoyed this, I will see you next time. A good boy. <laughs> oh, the power is addicting. The power is so very, very addicting. That was disappointing. I got excited for a second and it turned out to be absolutely nothing oh it was the haunt that explains why it's not there i just can't stop playing i love it too much i must i must for i must go a oh, good boy yeah.